and welcome back to my channel. Jimmy, say hi. Are you gonna say hi? No, you're not gonna say hi. So today's video is gonna be slightly different from my usual videos. So I usually do the couponing, the money saving, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but today, I'm actually gonna do a Yankee Candle haul because it's actually been requested quite a few times, like literally over the years. I used to do a lot of Yankee Candle videos. Um, so on this channel and I used to have a vlog channel and I used to talk about Yankee Candles literally just like non-stop. Um, and because I'm going to be rearranging them today, I thought I'd share with you what I've got. Also, disclaimer, I am not bragging in any way. And also, I know my collection is minuscule compared to like proper hardcore Yankee Candle collectors. Okay, so this is my bookshelf slash Yankee Candle shelf. Um, so right on the top here, we have got one, two, three rows that go back and then, then one, two, three, four, five, six crossed. So there's 18 large Yankee Candles on the top. If we come down, we've got a shelf full of books that need organising. And then we come down to this shelf, which is a mixture of large candles and medium sized Yankee Candles. And then as we go down, we're getting a bit more messy. We have got large candles, the wax melting pot things, a little unicorn and yeah, oh Jimmy, that noise is Jimmy just dropping a toy. And then if we go down, we've got a shelf mixed with candles and books. If we go down lower, we've got Jesus hanging out down there. And I know on that bottom shelf, we've also got baskets of the smaller candles. And then I also actually have a basket of more Yankee candles upstairs. Oh yeah, before I carry on, people always ask, do you burn Yankee candles? I burn a lot of Yankee candles, but I also have a huge, kind of like a stockpile of Yankee candles. So I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon. Okay, so I'm not exactly doing these in any particular order, but as I was taking them off the shelf, I did get my Easter ones together. Um, and as you can see, the logo, these are like the older style logo, and then this one is more of the newer. Um, so for the Easter ones I've got, I've got two jelly bean. In the US, I believe that it's called jelly beans. I have bunny cake, and I also have chocolate eggs. So these are my large Christmas jars. I've got fa la 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 llama. I've got red berry and cedar, season of peace. The Perfect Tree and also Evergreen Mist. I forgot to say Angel Wings is also part of a Christmas collection. We've got this one, I think you pronounce it Titanian Nights, but I know I'm probably saying it wrong. Fireside Treats, oh, I love the smell of that one, it's actually discontinued now. We've got Clean Cotton, which is an old classic. Baby Powder and I've also got Pina Colada. I have two Rainbow's Ends. This one, um, a friend of mine ordered that from America for me. And then this one I brought because it's a returning classic, originally poured in the 2000s, and it was the 50th anniversary one. They smell good. I've got Cottage Breeze, Turquoise Glass, Sea Harbor, and Viva Havana. Summer Scoop. Raspberry Sorbet, Black Cherry, that is one of my ultimate favourites, Tart Tatin, that's nearly all gone, and then I've got Island Waterfall, which has got a different type of label, and someone I know also got that imported from America for me. Picnic in the Park, April Showers, I do think that was an American exclusive, I can't remember. A Child's Wish, I did stop burning that because that's discontinued now and it's a scent I really like. And then Wind Blown, which I think again might have been an American exclusive. Kilimanjaro Stars, Haunted Hayride, that's a Halloween one. Raindrops, Dreamy Summer Nights, and warm woolen mittens. Now this is a, there's a whole collection and I really wanted to buy the whole lot and I never did. Um, so it's from The Sound of Music and you had like raindrops and roses, warm woolen mittens, brown paper packages tied up with string, which I swear I had that one, but apparently I can't find it. So I've only got this one, but oh, love the collection. I wish I had the whole lot. 
I found some more Christmas ones. This one is Christmas Magic. I've turned it around because it's got a photograph on the front and I don't think the person on it wants to be in my video. I've got Snow and Love, Icicles. This is discontinued and that is one of my favourite scents. Um, and then we've also got Cozy by the Fire, Amber Moon, Lavender, Aloe Water. I actually personally think this smells like cucumber, if I'm honest. I can never say this. I always get it wrong. Shea Butter, Sheer Butter. That's a good one anyway. Fluffy Towels, another clean cotton. And then this one's a home inspiration one. It's nearly all gone. And that was in the scent Glistening Christmas. This is my electric Yankee Candle Wax Melter in the colour pink. It looks quite grubby actually, it does need a clean. And these are the wax melts that I've got for it. So they come in like the little pots. And you take the lids on and off and then you just pop them in. So I've lost the lid to this one. I think it's called a cosy place, I want to say. And then I've got Sunny Daydream, Sparkling Snow, Pink Sands another clean cotton and then afternoon escape this shanky candle is in a different type of tub i think it's more of like a gift and it's in the scent meadow showers i love love the scent but it's not very easy to find i'm not sure if it is discontinued it probably is um, and it says sparkle twinkle hugs and thanks and then I've got this cute little buddy hanging out over here and this is a Yankee Candle bear that says I love Yankee Candle and he's scented and I think the scent is a baby powder so these are my smaller ones I've got golden chestnut strawberry buttercream cherries on snow loves me loves me not i know that one's definitely discontinued i think quite a lot of them are now to be honest some of these aloe water i have that in the other size as well christmas memories wild mint bundle up winter's glow lilac blossom cinnamon stick and candy cane leg now i'm going to tell you something about this one uh, <laughs> She's pretty much all burnt. She's gone a disgusting colour. She's not looking good. So this is the first janky candle that made me get proper obsessed with them. This one is very old and it's very hard to come by this scent now because it's discontinued. But it's one of my favourites because it's kind of like the first scent I got obsessed with. It's so, so nice. Now, I cannot tell you how many of these I have had gone through but these are the sampler sizes and i've got quite a few we've got egyptian musk we have sparkling snow forest spruce we have a raspberry sunday trick or treat candy corn beach holiday bundle up flowers in the sun wedding day lilac blossom that's a very old one that's uh, french vanilla you can see like the really old logo um, pink sands, autumn glow, wild seagrass, sparkling lemon, icicles, angel wings, cozy by the fire, holiday sage, cappuccino treats, under the palm, season of peace and also a vanilla honey. I do have more of these. I know there's a few Christmas ones I've got in this lot but most of my Christmas little candles I've got upstairs in the loft with a lot of my Christmas wax melts because it does take up a lot of space and I probably won't be using those again until Christmas so there we go. I forgot to add this little buddy in there. This one is sea salt and sage. This, this is my basket of the Yankee Candle wax melts. We've got loads in there. I'm not gonna get them all out, I don't think, but loads. This one here is in bubble wrap because this is Rainbow's End. As you saw before, I've got two large jars. Now this went discontinued and people were selling it for a lot of money on eBay. And guess what? I paid eight pounds for this wax melt and then they re-brought it out so yeah i don't think i'm gonna burn this one i think the older one this one here does smell stronger than the newer pores though 
So we just keep this little buddy here and bubble wrap. I've also got some of these that look like little wax jars. I think these were American. I went to a Yankee candle shop and they had a whole American as ex exclusive ones in that place. And so I got Macintosh. And of course, definitely the Meadow Showers. If you ever get a chance to smell it, you have to buy it. It is so nice. So yeah whole lot of wax melts in there. I've got some wild mint Yankee Candle tea lights. I've got this one which is, I think, I'm assuming it's obviously one you give as a gift. Focus please, don't be mean camera. And it says thinking of you and that is in the scent beach walk. And then I just found this little one hiding which is berry trifle. I've probably got more Yankee Candle somewhere. I know at my mum's house I've got a lot of accessories there still and I do have Yankee Candle accessories here there and everywhere. But yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you got this far, please remember to give this video a thumbs up because that makes me very, very happy. And if you're new here, please subscribe. And yeah, I will think I'm just about to go. But my question is, do you have an obsession with anything like collecting something like pop vinyl figures, comic books? I don't know. I just want to know. Just curious. Okay. Well, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go now. Bye.